as we reveal today's countdown conundrum. Daryl, is it initially? Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Luke and welcome to Down From The Attic. And if you watched that little clip there of a countdown conundrum, you've already watched this review. Are you getting a vibe? Are you getting a vibe for how I feel about this game? Today we're looking at an oddity from 1977. A little game called... Wizword. Let's get this thing down and have a look at it. First off, box art, and pretty standard fare for this era of Milton Bradley games. Simple photo of the game, happy kids playing, on to contents. There's two trays of plastic letters and a turntable. Once again, Milton Bradley using those primary colours. The turntable is built pretty solid and is powered by a rubber band. Setup. This is a two player game and each player takes a tray of letters. Ensure the turntable is in the resting position and we're ready to play. The first round of the game, each player composes a word using the tiles up to 10 characters long and puts them in the lower rack without letting your opponent see your word. You then slot the letters in the upper rack on the turntable but jumble the letters up. Once both players have slotted their letters in place, Turn the turntable around and the game begins. As fast as possible, it's up to you to try and guess the word that your opponent has scrambled up. You can also use all the letters provided to create another word. This is perfectly fine to do so and if you do this, you're able to win the game as well. When you think you've got the right solution, smack the red button and... The turntable spins back round to your opponent to show the word. If the word is correct or a correct word is used using all the letter tiles, that player wins that round and claims all their opponent's tiles. The opponent tiles are removed from play and are out of the game, meaning that that player has less tiles to work with. Play continues in the same way, making as long as a word as you can, scramble up all the letters, turning the turntable around and trying to be the quickest to de-scramble the letters into a proper word. If you misspell a word or don't use the letters or grab the wrong letters to use, you automatically lose that round. As the game goes on, less and less tiles are available to use and when it comes to the point where one player can no longer make a playable word, the other player wins the game. Final thoughts? Wizword is a pretty dull game to play, it really is. I like the turntable and I like the way it works. Um, it adds a little bit of excitement to the game, but this is all style over substance. This game could be played with a pen and paper, and I find myself questioning why this game even exists. Overall, it's just boring to play. Wizword, it's shizword. Well, I'm Luke, thanks again for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon. If you like what I'm doing here on Down From The Attic, please consider showing your support by subscribing. Comments are always welcome and I'll see you in the next video.